try the other leg. Okay, stop. <laughs> something we like to talk about a lot in yoga whether it's in we're striving for balance in our yoga poses or balance in our lives and I'm Charlotte from Yoga Flavored Life today I'd like to talk to you a bit about balance okay let's see I just have to make some muffins make some cookies get the kids back to school stuff ready get an oil change vacuum do some more. balancing postures in yoga are all about harmony confidence and power so when trying to find that place of balance, your body moves in and out of center and you have to always bring it back to center to find that nice alignment. One pose that I've always found really challenging is half moon pose. It challenges me both physically and it also challenges my ego. So I think that's a great reason to practice it. Half moon pose are that obviously it works your balance, it stretches and strengthens the spine, um, strengthens your abdominals, your thighs and your ankle muscles. It also relieves stress, uh, tones the muscles of your lower back, and helps to relieve sciatica. Um, so to do half moon pose, you want to create a strong foundation with your legs. It helps to turn your foot slightly inwards. Think of distributing the weight evenly, pressing down, and at the same time you want to extend towards the ceiling. You might want to start with your hand on your hip. I always find it easier to look down. Once you find your balance, you can look up, <laughs> get wobbly, and then just think of extending and opening up, and always breathing. So when you're first starting out, a block is really helpful. You can start it at the highest level. As you find a bit more balance, you can move the block down a little bit to one of the lower levels. And then once you're finding that you've got it with the block, you can move down to the floor and try it with the tip of your fingers. One thing that is really helpful also is when you're starting out you can use the wall. So go right against the wall and you want to go into half moon pose and then just use the wall to find your balance and see as you get there you can gradually come off the wall. Some poses aren't about falling, they're about learning to get back up with grace. And falling is something that happens a lot both in yoga and in life. So if you want to give this pose a try, let me know how it goes, and I'd love to hear from you. Come by, visit yogaflavoredlife.com. Thank you, and I'll see you next week. I'm going to do it this time. No falling. Okay.